So, hello. I couldn't find, uh, I, I found it hard to set a meeting on VU Mat, and I think it's better to record some videos and then uh, you, will ha you will have access to these videos later on. But um, anyways, if you have any questions, you can always uh, text me or call me, whatever. Um, so uh, I have to start with continue mechanics initially and very briefly. Um, so um, these are th uh, uh, first the strain measures. Um, if you want to develop U U mat or any VU mat uh, or in any finite elements mm, software or even in your code, you will have the deformation gradient. It's it is known, uh, and you have it at two different step at the um, at TI, which is the time step before and the next time step so you will have two um, deformation gradients and um, for deformation gradient based on deformation gradient you can find any strain measure um, one of them for example you can do polar decomposition and you can write the deformation gradient as RU and R is um, uh, orthonormal a matrix so it is a rotation matrix and RR transpose uh, equals identity matrix uh, and U is um, right right pole I think this is called right pole or the uh, the composition but this is a stretch tensor uh, I think it is right stretch tensor they call it um, <coughs> I just do that because we we, we need these um, definitions. I'm not going to review all the strain measures or all, all the continuum mechanics. Eh? Um, the other measure that uh, you we will need is left Cauchy strain tensor. So it is called B, and it is F F transpose. You so you have the F. It is given, and you can uh, multiply the F by the, its transpose. You will get it. And the other one is B star, or um, this is deviatoric part of it. So you remove the volumetric part. It is J to the power of minus two third. Um, uh, but, and it's multiplied by B. So B is a tensor. It's three by three matrix or tensor. It's a second order tensor. Uh, but J is a scalar. J is the determinant of F. So then you will have these things. Um, so these are simple mul uh, multiplications, matrix multiplications. The next one is stress measures. We will we have many stress measures, and if you have one of them. You can convert them to each other with uh, with this uh, with this table. I just uh, copied it from Wikipedia, so um, it's it's pretty easy. Um, the thing that the constitutive model does is it 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 gives you a for formula to correlate. Um, strain measures with a stress measures and it can convert it to any other stress measures but um, abacus uh, just takes for VU mat just takes corrotational stress corrotational stress is that for example this is your global XY is your global um, coordinate system but if you have a solid which is rotating and if you attach the coordinate system to this solid and you rotate it um, the, the new coord the rotated coordinate system is X prime Y prime so in this uh, coordinate system in the local or rotated um, uh, coordinate system the stress is uh, you have only one it's only uh, y uh, sigma x prime x prime which is um, which has a value the rest doesn't so the corrotational stress measure is like you're rotating uh, the coordinate system which is at uh, um, and at assume that th that coordinate system is attached to your body frame so this is the formula that if you have the Cauchy stress tensor 
um, if you have, you can calculate it. I'll go back to it later on how you can calculate it. But let's assume you have it. Then you can uh, convert it to co-rotational stress. Uh, how? By by this formula. It's R transpose sigma R, and these are all of them. They are second order tensors. Uh, and what is R? R you, you have it from this formula. R U from polar decomposition. You can find it. The next thing you will need uh, as a theory is um, the constitutive model. Here we want to implement you know, Hookian solid, which is a uh, simple one, large deformation, time independent. This is the formula. And you, you, you notice that it is uh, by given based on, uh, this is Kirchhoff stress because it is more to tau, which is a Kirchhoff stress, equals J sigma. but you have it, I mean, um, a Cauchy stress, um, J, J uh, cro uh, multiplied by Cauchy stress is, is given by this formula. And all the all these parameters are given here. Kappa J and Kappa and J and Mu, Kappa J and Mu, they are all uh, scalar, so they're, they're just numbers. Kappa and mu are material mo constants. You have them. I is um, is an identity matrix, so it's um, all one, all zero except the main diagonal, uh, which is all one. Um, J is uh, the determinant of the formation gradient. The formation gradient is given in the subroutine, so you have it. B star is. Um, you can calculate it from this formula. This is um, this is a simple multiplication. B itself is F F transpose F F T. So you have B two. Deviatoric part of B star is given by this formula. So it's B star minus this. And um, I is again identity matrix. And this part one third of I one star. This is. Um, scalar again so <clears throat> i1 star is the trace of b star so you can see that if someone gives you kappa and mu and f if you have the formation gradient and material constants you can calculate sigma um, uh, and and then uh, you can rotate it um, by using this formula and calculate co-rotational tensor so i'll stop the video here and um, go for the next one